Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my Xbox One S. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's been sitting under my TV collecting dust, getting played for two years, year and a half. It's been a while. Um, so I'm going to take it apart, blow the dust out, you know, the usual stuff, maintenance. Um, that's what we're going to do. I want my electronics to last, and this is one way to help them last. Let's take it apart. Here we go. That's out. Now we can flip it over. And our heat sink should come right off. Look at that. So that's our heat sink. We're going to clean this up. We're going to clean that up, blow some dust off. Um, it's actually surprisingly a lot cleaner than I thought it would be. There are a few spots on the bottom. Um, It looks like some moisture got in there. I'm not sure. It's been sitting on a shelf. I don't know where the moisture would have come from, but we're going to clean that all up and uh, go from there. This stuff is pretty hard, meaning it's not transferring heat as well as it should and if it doesn't transfer heat then we get uh, overheating problems which will shut your system down which will I mean cause your gameplay to just be terrible you want to keep electronics cool that's that's just a general rule now working on this this is an exposed die meaning that on a, on a typical desktop CPU, there would be a, uh, an IHS, an integrated heat spreader, and it, it protects the die underneath. Um, we don't have that here, as you can see, and I don't know what this is. This is an old Core 2 Duo. Don't worry about it. Um, we don't have that. So the best contact we can make, the better. With the heat spreader here, we're going to scrape this old stuff off because it is chalky and hard and we don't want it. I mean, that is, uh, yeah, that's bad. We're going to get some alcohol and just clean that up as best we can. We want a clean surface to work with. Now, this is an aluminum heat sink. Uh, I've seen a few videos where there are different styles of heat sink where there are actually heat pipes in there, but uh, I don't have that one. So if you do, it's going to be basically the same steps, just um, slightly different. So same, but different. Same, same, but different. Thank you. 
So now that it's all clean, we're gonna give it a light dusting just to make sure everything's off. And we're gonna give some new thermal compound. I've got some uh, Cooler Master high performance. I don't know what it is. Um, with the exposed dye, more can be better. We'll put the heat sink back on, which I'm doing wrong. Which way did it go? This way, this way. Make sure you orient it the right, the same way. Now this, this is concerning here. There actually is quite a bit of corrosion. Um, so that's concerning because I don't remember anything that would have caused that. But we're going to wipe it off. Be gentle. You can snag some, you know, things on here. And this probably isn't the best tool to use, a rag, but uh, you do what you got to do. So a lot of this doesn't actually want to come off, so I'm not, uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're going to put it back together. Oh, for the love of pants. And we're done. So we're done. I am gonna 
I have to clean this all up now. I'm going to give it one good wipe down on the just the outer shell just to clean up any dust and fingerprints I left behind. And we should be good. There were a few things that I, I missed and maybe messed up, if you want to say that. Um, when you're taking apart those screws in the bottom, only take the green ones out first. Um, obviously, I did it with that, but the green ones are going to release the top shell. The silver screws are actually holding in your hard drive, uh, Blu-ray drive, all the other things. So you don't need to take them out right away. Be careful. It, it, I kind of had to go back off camera and it fixed that a little bit, but we got there in the end. It's not a huge deal. I honestly have no doubts this is going to work again. So I'm not even going to like... Yeah, I'm going to go plug it in. Give me a minute. All right, I'm back. Um, yeah, the thing turned down without a hitch. Uh, started right up. Started getting notifications. We're all good. This will void your warranty, like I said. So if you just bought it a week ago, I probably wouldn't advise this for any reason. Um, that's uh, that's about it. I, I think uh, um, I got accomplished what I wanted to get accomplished, and that's, that's the big thing. Um, so that's it for today. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Get subscribed. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. I... Uh, I want to hear from you, but I'll see you in the next one.